The Rhode Island Secretary of State's office is giving new insight into when we may see a special congressional election. In one scenario, the primary would be in August and then the general would be October. In the other, the primary would be in September and the general election in November. Both also have to account for a federal law that requires ballots to be sent to people who live overseas. Tonight, law, enforcement, uh, law experts, I should say, are raising some concerns about the rules surrounding special elections. Sheena Loshudo joins us to explain. Well, the concern here is that voters who live overseas wouldn't really get an updated ballot the way the laws are written right now, but state officials tell us they're already talking about this and addressing these concerns. Rhode Island has not seen a special election for a seat in Congress since 1967. That changes this year with Congressman David Cicilline leaving Capitol Hill to take over the Rhode Island Foundation come June. I'm a state constitutional law scholar. The big news caught the attention of a professor in Pennsylvania who says Rhode Island may want to take a second look at its special election laws when it comes to a federal race. He says the problem is the Federal Uniformed and Overseas Citizen Absentees Voting Act, which makes sure people living or serving abroad get a ballot in time. The law requires that those voters receive their mail ballots 45 days before any election. The problem is primarily with the fact that candidate filing um, in Rhode Island with respect to the primary election occurs on day 38 and day 39 before the primary election. So within that 45 day window, voters are legally required to be able to cast absentee ballots, but candidate filing wouldn't have taken place by that point. The executive director of Common Cause Rhode Island agrees. He's urging local lawmakers to act fast and adjust the schedule to comply. Otherwise, he warns the U.S. Department of Justice could sue the state. So we have some time both to, to ask these questions, but also possibly to craft a solution. The special election can only be called by the governor once the seat is vacated on June 1st. After bringing these concerns to the Rhode Island Secretary of State's office, Secretary Amore tells 12 News the special election will comply with the federal law, adding that the election is still in the preliminary planning stages. So it is possible that we could see local lawmakers act on this. I heard from a spokesperson from both the House Speaker and the Senate President who tells us they have had conversations about this, but right now that's really all they can say. We're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Six, we're following up on Congressman David Cicilline's bombshell announcement that he's leaving Congress. More people say they're considering running to replace him. The Secretary of State's office says there could be a primary in August or September, followed by the general election in October or November. But some law experts are worried that Rhode Island's special election laws don't match up with federal law. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us live in Providence to explain their concerns. Well, we know Cicilline's first day at work here at the Rhode Island Foundation will be June 1st. So those law experts say Rhode Island has some time to take a look at everything and get things in order. Rhode Island has not seen a special election for a seat in Congress since 1967. That changes this year with Congressman David Cicilline leaving Capitol Hill to take over the Rhode Island Foundation come June. I'm a state constitutional law scholar. The big news caught the attention of a professor in Pennsylvania who says Rhode Island may want to take a second look at its special election laws when it comes to a federal race. He says the problem is the federal uniformed and overseas citizen Absentees Voting Act, which makes sure people living or serving abroad get a ballot in time. The law requires that those voters receive their mail ballots 45 days before any election. The problem is primarily with the fact that candidate filing um, in Rhode Island with respect to the primary election occurs on day 38 and day 39 before the primary election. So within that 45 day window, voters are legally required to be able to cast absentee ballots, but candidate filing wouldn't have taken place by that point. The executive director of Common Cause Rhode Island agrees. He's urging local lawmakers to act fast and adjust the schedule to comply. Otherwise, he warns the U.S. Department of Justice could sue the state. We're interested in making sure um, that that federal law is upheld 
so that all voters can participate in this special election. Under state law, the governor can't call for a special election until the seat is officially vacated, which in Cicilline's case is June 1st. Both say that means there's time to act on it. We have every responsibility to make sure that they're able to cast a lawful ballot. So this is an easy fix, and I think for the sake of our democracy, it's a necessary one. And we took these concerns to the state's Secretary of State's office, and they tell us right now it is really early. They are talking about this, though, and considering it, assuring us it will be a federally compliant special election. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.